uh, simulation is becoming extremely important to simulate a server a service station or a production line uh, simulation any improvement or any changes you want to perform on the system it's better to test it on the computer rather than spending money money which is like extremely needed when the simulation of the changes or the improvement you want to perform in the system has proven to be effective and urgent therefore you go ahead and you do the modification so one of the simulation software new to the to the market is simu software uh, simu it start well the first screen uh, i'm gonna show you uh, like to do a small introduction about the interface using a single server model so if you look at the screen this is our user interface we could navigate different components which are here okay plus additional learning resource available here as we will gonna see in a bit on the ribbons on top which is the project home run going which we're gonna see in other videos and we have the support where there is video and training and even there are some bit uh, samples of softwares or program already done if we click on the project home we have the new model which we're gonna work on uh, like we could see it here on the right hand side with the browsing the model as well as we have the standard library the standard library is about the source which is uh, the module needed to create entities and that replace a human in a service station or a product in a production line we have the server the one would process the entity and the sink where the entity will be deleted or disposed from the system okay so i'm gonna start with with a step one we have the source it's easier we click left click on the mouse click and drag or if we double click on the source we could put a number of sources in order to disable the multi placement we all we have to do is to right click on the mouse and then I'm gonna delete the one the extra one out as well as for the server the server is the one in charge of uh, processing the entity and the sink where the entity will be disposed where the entity will be disposed the next step I'm gonna do is connect the server uh, connect the source to the server and to the sink so by click double clicking on the path okay and double clicking here to connect okay so and you could see the arrow so you could know which direction the entity will be moving toward the exit okay so if i run the program by clicking on the run tab we have the run we have the steps running we have the fast forward and the reset step mode is moved to the next event so if i click on step i'm gonna show you in a second if we click on run and is moving slowly if we click on step mode okay which is to step forward the running okay, or fast forward the running but I need to show you one thing I'm gonna stop it for a second in this model we have the starting time and the ending time is exactly the same so our model is not gonna move it's just like one difference between the two so if I'm gonna change this to 10 a.m. okay and I'm gonna do a run so you could see our model is running we have here the time it's going like really slow and by doing this so we are March 26 10 a.m. and the model has stopped so I'm gonna stop the model I'm gonna run it and then click on step mode okay so step mode it does one step at a time so you could see here the entity number 11 okay is available here if we do the step mode again so this is entity 11 because in the queue now is being processed and another step mode to the system to see what entity is 
if I fast forward the system again we could see the entity is moving we have default entity 8090 so almost 8000 entity which is the number of the entity has been created so I'm gonna stop the running step mode is useful, useful for debug, debugging okay so we have here as well the result tab we're gonna go through this later on in the system we have the server the scheduled utilization with the percentage busy percentage idle is 79% as well as we need to reset button in order to reset all the results once we do this the table is completely empty the result has gone if I go back to the project if I go back to the project I click on uh, if I go back to the project I'm gonna make this one a little bit here and we have here the object property related to every module the source the server and the sink of course when you click on every module uh, properties it will varies between one another so we have here the default entity we could change the entity type like we have person product arrival mode is the arrival time between entity and enter arrival time so if we you're not sure about one or term all you have to do is click on it it's an expression that evaluated once at the beginning of the simulation run indicates the time offset on the first arrival at this source object which means how much the system has to wait before it dispatches the first entity okay so we have here as well uh, the stopping condition, the buffer logic, table reference, we could change the random exponential which is 0 0.25 okay so we have the enter arrival time 0 0.25 minutes if we click on the server for example we have the same and we have the buffer logic the buffer logic is about how many entities will be in the queue if the server is busy so by default it's infinity if we change this number to 5 Okay, so I'm gonna change. Uh, I will check in a second. We have the initial capacity is equal to one, which is like fixed capacity. And if we go to the buffer logic, uh, so uh, by clicking on the server, which is the property is related to the server. So we have the buffer logic, and if the value is not, you can't change it. You have to stop the program to change the buffer. To so set the values the setting when it has become bold as you could see here which means the value has been changed or updated in the system okay so we have here processing time random triangular we could just uh, change the value to uh, the one we want for example entity okay priority is minutes so when I run the program I'm gonna show you how does it work so I'm gonna see how the program work which is like really small, really slow but it depends on the entity priority so if I stop this for a second and click on the source we have here state assignment state assignment which is the entity priority before exiting on bulking or reneging uh, reneging when you change the queue so we just say before exiting we want to set the priority of the system we're gonna do add so the first one is a model entity priority model entity priority uh, 
and the new value is for example random exponential random exponential and double click you could say here is 0 0.2 minute and this is finished as well as we could set the desired speed for the entity exiting the system model entity desired if you don't remember how it is written all what you have to do is just type it here model entity desired speed and the value here is 3 you can see here is like 3 meters per hour so I'm gonna close this and run the program okay I'm gonna close this and run the program and it is it should be like really slow by running the program it's like barely moving so when I stop this if we go back to the resource and this value desired speed and we choose second meter per second and run so you can see here it's faster in the system okay as it's supposed to be this is like it's now point 11 and you could see the system is fast or if you do fast forward to the system so we could see how the entities they're supposed to be moving in the system okay uh, so this would be the first program for CMU we're gonna do another videos to explain more other aspect of the software